Just, just make that. Yes. And we, 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 we were going to go through it and point out the changes, and we thought we'd just call it a new constitution instead because it was easier. <laughs> okay, so are we ready for your question? All in favor? Oh, sorry, you have a question? I, I just have, yes, I do have a question. It, it strikes me as out of character for the three convocations to have the first item in our mission and vision as administration. You're right. We don't have a vision statement on there. We probably should have one. This is just the bare bones. Yeah, this is the bare bones. That. And maybe it's alphabetical here? I think we but followed just, the yeah. old one and we went through each of the points. Um, but I agree, there should probably be a vision on the front of that. No, the order. Administration is number one, which makes it, makes it look Do like you mean in the order of exactly. the report? No, the order of the wording of that suggested mission. Okay. Administration looks like the first priority. It okay. says administration, ministry, and worship, which is why I asked it oh. might be alphabetical. And it I realize be. it's still going to be formulated. Uh, just please don't make administration our first priority. <laughs> okay, uh, we will, we will, uh, Karen's captured that. I absolutely agree with that. Yeah, I'm sure most people here do. <laughs> yeah. It's important. Uh, no, I agree, I agree, but, I agree. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Okay. We will um, accept it and uh, with uh, Ruth's comments on there and Direction. <laughs> All in favor? Sorry, I can't. Opposed? Okay. Oh, this is going a lot faster than the last one. I've learned a lesson. I went through, the last time I did this, I went through each report and had everybody come up and present it and realized if everybody read it ahead of time, you don't have to do that. So, this is uh, <laughs> it's good. It's good. Go so, the last one is technology. Um, and I made a point of saying at the very beginning of this whole uh, topic, or this whole meeting, is we've learned a lot in how to use technology. I mean, we record our, our services every year, uh, every week, and uh, we make it available to the general public. Um, we would like to take that next step forward. Um, and in mulling over some of the technology ideas, um, you know, what we really want to do is get to the point where we have internet, a screen, and a recording device in each church. And the reason we do that, and, um, you know, I'm sure that there'll be more reasons why we do this, but the reason we do that is, number one, um, if we can project this <laughs> on a TV screen, I find a TV screen easier to read than, than a, um, a, one of these, like a, a bulletin. Um, and I know I, I came from a church, and I'm sure some people that have come up from the city and are now living here, we've had our, our bulletins and our music projected onto screens now, um, I'm going to say, for at least 15 years in the church I belonged to. And I'm sure that's true in others. I think, Karen, you were talking about that as well, the church you belong to, and you've been here for a while. So one of the things is just actually being able to do something like that and reduced... The, the amount of trees we kill by printing these off every week. I'm sure we'll still print them off, but we probably won't print off many copies because people like Jean likes to take them yeah. to the, <laughs> to the um, Muskoka Traditions residence. Um, but it would reduce the amount that we have and uh, maybe even make it um, a little bit more readable in the, the actual service. Uh, second one is um, including multimedia in um, Meg's presentations. Um, just, uh, was it last week or the week before we read the book? Last week. Oh, uh, that was last week. Yeah, so last week um, Meg read a book. Um, Grandfather to Granddad's Prayers of the Earth. That's right. And, and it, if, you, if you think of it, we couldn't see the illustrations. I'm sure the artwork was gorgeous. But if we had a, a, a TV monitor, <laughs> yes. everybody could see the illustrations. That's just a simple thing. Um, being able to use some um, different guest speakers or a um, um, music, you know, having uh, music brought in um, using multimedia uh, so that it, it kind of enlivens our, our community with when we, where we get together every uh, Sunday um, will bring a lot to um, our churches. And, and I think things like that actually invites more people to attend. 
Um, you know, I look around and there's a lot of, I say, gray hair, no hair people here, which I want. <laughs> I, I'm lovingly one, okay. <laughs> so just, um, and, and I think uh, bringing in a bit of technology would, would and, and bringing in other resources um, would be a way of inviting other people to join us, uh, including um, our camp. Yes. Oh, it'll be, if we take this route, um, it will certainly be attractive to, uh, to young people and give them uh, access to, to things that um, um, they have access to anyway, but we provide a context for it in the church. So um, it enables us as a church community to be involved in the world that our youth are already very involved in, right? Yes. Will it finally give us the ability to live stream memorial yes. services, weddings? And yes, 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 yes. That, 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 that's all Do, my, my people point hear what Kathy said? The ability to okay. live stream weddings and funerals, baptisms, mm -hmm. for people that uh, they, they want to have that ceremony mm -hmm. in a church like this, but they've got uh, family and friends that are too far to attend. It allows us to be able to do something like that with that. Um, the other thing it does is we're all looking at different ways to use our space um, and bring in the community into our space. For example, um, we're, where's Catherine? Catherine and I and uh, members of our church have been talking about how we can use this space and in involve more community so that we can feel good about putting repairs into the church and making it look beautiful again. And that's one reason, but the other reason is, is that it just seems so sad to be not in a place with these beautiful windows and um, having it closed for six days a week and not having uh, you know community involved in coming in and, and just being part of being, being able to sit in, in a beautiful place like this. Um, in order to kind of open our churches up to the communities, and um, Knox is another one, Knox has done a lot of work at Pioneer getting the roof on, being able to open that up for other things besides worship. Um, I just gave our church this example because I know more about it. <laughs> um, it's, uh, but, but in order to do that, if we want to rent a space, people say, well, do you have internet? Yeah. First it's question. enough. That's the first question they ask, do you have internet? So if we wanted to open the space and allow, for example, uh, one of our local businesses to use it as a meeting space, First thing they would ask is, do you have internet? Because I need to bring in this. You know, it's just it's just part of it. Part of our world. It's part of our world. So that is um, one of the other reasons. And then finally, um, we're, we're not there yet. Just we, we, with consultation with each of the churches, we, uh, you know, when we're doing um, um, three points in a charge, we have a real difficult time. And I could talk, look at Gandhi and I look at Rose and, Bina would, would give me the, the, the eye as well. <laughs> when we're looking for supply for, for when um, Meg isn't here, nobody wants to do three churches. Mm. Nobody wants to do three churches at a time mm. uh, on one day. It's just, it's just hard. I mean, people we're asking are also people that are probably 60 plus, and it's a lot of driving. Um, and to be honest, we only pay them for one, one sermon. We don't pay them three times. So it's not really, um, you know, I know ministers like to do things out of the goodness of their health, but they also have to pay the bills. So it's, it's one of those things where um, it allows us to do that. And, and it also gives us some food for thought about doing um, maybe two points sometimes, or um, even having one church service and everybody kind of listening in or sharing with that. Um, we're not there yet, but I think that's it's one of the ways we can get there, and it, we need to talk to each of the community, the churches, to feel how they can use the technology that way. So because of that, um, again, leadership, we've talked about this. Um, I'd like to make a motion if in consultation with each of the churches, so it, it's not going to be a leadership making any decisions, it'll be each of the churches, um, to develop a plan to roll out technology including internet, visual and sound multimedia with a detailed report on how this te technology can be used in each of the churches, sorry, <laughs> and then, uh, and the charge, 
and then report on a quarterly basis for this year because I think we, we need to move fast on this and um, there's a lot of a lot of voices that we need to hear first so um, but I think the first thing to be honest with you is to get internet in each of the churches I think we can probably figure out the rest of it um, and uh, just even talking to Ian and Paul who are two people that are looking at technology we're out cooking our burgers right now um, they uh, have said that Believe it or not, Stuart will be easy. <laughs> we have high speed here. Um, Pioneer and uh, Knox are a little bit more difficult. So we need to look at uh, local providers to see where we can get it. And I will tell you that the internet's probably gonna be the most expensive part. It's at minimum $100 a month per church. And um, when, um, and, and we will look for ways of not paying that. But that's, you know, basically just even without looking for that yet, that's the minimum. And then it'll probably cost us probably, you know, five to a thousand dollars to actually get it set up to begin with. So we just need to figure out that. And I mean, there's a lot going on there. There's, there's, uh, you know, a direction of, we have to go forward with it. There's a direction we need to take. Um, and we need to kind of figure out how much it's going to cost, how much we're willing to pay. And not only that, you need to know that the United Church of Canada is completely in support of churches that are moving in this direction and there are lots of help and lots of money out there all we have to do is ask apply for it but we need to have a plan apply yes so we need and i will say we started this almost we started it last year and then it kind of didn't do anything what i put into this motion and uh, with the support of the leadership is to actually put timelines in it so that we see direction and we actually see something moving forward so it doesn't die <laughs> Yes. Uh, what, uh, what are your timeline? What are the timelines for this thing? You said uh, smart so, there quickly. So we're, it's basically we, we need to figure out what it is first. Um, and I think uh, I don't I don't have a plan uh, at this point, And that's the first thing. Like we, we, we put a plan together at one point um, and really nothing happened of it. So to me, we need to put in writing what's happening. And Vina has done an excellent job. She's actually already gone. We keep looking at you, Wayne. But, you know, she, <laughs> she's actually looked at the different um, monies that we can get from the church and has provided us with that. Um, but I think we need to just uh, go back to each of our congregations and, uh, and really come back like, and say, how are we going to use it in our church? So to me, it's, it's uh, and I think Jennifer said it best at our meeting, it, it would be really wonderful if we went and bought all this technology, <coughs> but nobody came. So we just need to figure out how it's going to be used in each of our churches. And I think we all sort of have a vision. And then from that vision, um, and I'm going to say we'll probably figure out that, um, I mean, I will talk to our church. Um, you know, Mark's probably going to put it on her agenda. And um, I'm going to ask uh, when Knox, uh, Brian gets together, put it on your agenda um, just to figure out, you know, how you <coughs> use the technology and what you think you need from a technology perspective. I'm hoping we get three similar because it's easier if you go to somebody who you're going to try and get a deal with if you order the same thing. But, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, you know, I can figure that one out if I have to go and, and source the, the equipment or Paul or Ian will source the equipment. Good news is Ian is actually the IT um, director for Huntsville and Lake Bays here. So uh, he, he, he has his pulse on a lot of suppliers and things like that. So there's... We have good resources in each of the churches. I think Knox has somebody that, that is quite capable of recommending technology as well. And um, I would like to think after working for you know 30 years in technology, I could do it. I will say I can't anymore because it's been seven years since I've been out. But And that's a long time in technology, technology terms. But uh, hey, I love Zoom. It didn't exist when I was there. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's, that's the, the motion going forward. So you're, uh, yes. I just want to support the urgency of the timeline of doing this because in Dorset it's been on our agenda for more than a year and we're now to the point as the communities become more aware of our space yes. because of the accessibility and we're getting requests from okay. people to use the church um, and, and the internet is a, an important part of a lot of those activities okay, that are that's, wanting that's to use our church now. Good, so. that's, good, that's good to know actually because yeah. it, it might be that we so. set one church up as a role model for the others because that could, it all depends. Like I said, we need to. Well, we need the connection. We need the connection, yes. Sorry. Well, what, what about tech support? Um, I mean, that seems for me that's an issue mm -hmm. with uh, older people 
Um, well, we'll just have to figure There's an adversity to, to the technology and yeah, we need help. And yeah. the nephew, the, little, the uh, six-year-old nephew might not be available for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I absolutely, uh, no, it has to be part of the plan. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it could be that, you know, that, uh, I, I, and I will tell you that Meg and um, her, her husband, Jamie, they do a lot of our technology today. Uh, Karen did a lot of it. Um, and I think she was happily gave it up to make when she was put, putting things up to YouTube. So she's been my trainer. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so hopefully what we have is a training plan for a few people from each church to be able to do tech support. I mean, none of this is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, um, from somebody who's been in technology for a long time. So you can tell me if I'm wrong, but none of it is rocket science. It's, it's a recording device like a phone. It's the internet. Um, I know that there's some people that don't have internet, but internet today is so easy. You just plug, you get a little satellite or whatever, and you plug it in. Um, and then if you get a smart TV, you actually don't need a computer because you could use your recording device right onto the smart TV. Mm. So there's, 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 um, it, and every, I think everybody has a TV and I probably would guess that most of them are smart TVs. So it's, it's, um, the technology is not, the hard part, I think, is how we use the technology, which would give us, which would be probably the, the challenge. Does that make sense? Yeah, your assumption that everybody has a smart TV. We just I, got a smart TV and it was only because the other one conked out. Okay. <laughs> we had fire in our house, smoke. Well, I'm, okay, so uh, the, the smart TV have plugs and you plug in the right plug with it. And yes. yeah. It basically works out like that way. Yes? I see two things that, that this is critical, but when I'm looking for space for other not-for-profits, I'd rather go to a church anytime yeah. than some business elsewhere. And if the churches can offer that, like support groups and all kinds of other things, we would rather use a church any day. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fair enough. And you get people into the church you wouldn't get otherwise for anything yeah. else, mm -hmm. as well as what you're going to draw with your weddings and funerals and all that. Yeah. But there's so many other community things that are looking for spaces the size of what we have in each of those two. And my the internet is, is the thing holding it up. Even the, 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 the white uh, community center is going to shrink over years. That's their plan is to actually shrink yeah. that big space. So there's going to be um, other need for space. Yes. So I know that's a lot of talking. Um, what well, we just... Uh, I think the, the next step is to get an understanding of each of the church's positions on it. And once we get that, we can then define the technology, the budget, and what we can get for money-wise um, from the church and what we need to raise. Yes? Uh, just got to make a point then. You're $13 a week per person. <laughs> um, there's an old saying that says you can eat the whole, you can eat that whole elephant, but you got to eat it a bite at a time. So it just went up to $15. <laughs> Wait, I think next time I'll let you do this. <laughs> this is successful. Does your current one license will allow us to project these two? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. And, and the church has gone that way long time ago. We have to get, we have to do the licenses for the, uh, the YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. yeah and there's the a new church I know of that didn't already have projection of this. Yeah. yeah. There's a new program coming out. It's uh, just starting to be uh, rolled out by the United Church of Canada, which is basically to put all of our hymns and make it all accessible online. It's called Sing along with us or something like that um, so worship uh, is mo moving to integrate it's not to be online it's not to sit in front of a screen and have the entire worship service um, you know canned it, it's about including the technology within what we do and and make it even better most probably yeah yeah yeah. I, I would say that uh, the multimedia, I, I mean, I've been to many church services in the city that, that included multimedia, and uh, they just add to the service. It really just doesn't take away from the minister's words, but it, it, it really adds to the minister's words. So it's a, a great way to go. Can we hear the motion? Yeah, oh, again? <laughs> so was a while ago. Okay, um, the motion is to consult with each church to develop a plan to roll out technology, including internet, <coughs> visual, sound of multimedia, with a detailed report on how this technology can be used for each church and, and the charge in general, and then report quarterly on the progress 
And I can add to that since we sound like we want to get this sooner than later is that by the, the, our next leadership meeting, we have a talk, we, we hear from each of the churches about where they want to take the technology. When is that? Um, it is, well, she, right now it's on the 19th of July, but I won't be there, so she's got to move it. <laughs> so we, we meet quarterly, just so you know, the leadership meets quarterly. But in something like this, I think, you know, we could, we could have a special meeting for it. So I'm going to say by the end of June, how's that? Ooh. Okay. It won't take that long. I, I, I don't think it'll take that long either. Is there any attempt to make this like a business case to do this? Because well, well we have to. We have two to. churches lost a reasonable sum of money, and to come up with this to add additional costs. Um, I rent the church out at our place regularly. Yeah. Well, I don't. Unfortunately, it doesn't get rented out regularly. I mean, I just made a, a lady ask if she could use it over the summer, and seventy-five dollars a, a week was too much for her to run a dance class. I thought it was going to be a great pile of revenue. So we can't rent what we have. She wasn't even looking for internet. She wants it free because it's a church. There's a lot of people that want it free. Uh, so, <laughs> so I need a business case somewhere along the line. Well, that the purpose of of asking how you're going to use it will help us build the business case. To because we have a we have to have a business case to get the grant money too. Sure. So okay. it's well, it's all uh, part okay. of the process. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, and good. Uh, but but I agree. But I, I think if if we <coughs> I can see using it for for weddings and funerals, stream, live streaming. The internet part uh, is is probably uh, uh, necessary in this day and age for sure. How we get we can't get the internet at our house or my church. <laughs> Yeah, I get wonderful internet on Austin. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> anyways uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I need, you know, I'm just struggling even to get enough money to pay for a roof. So. And, and I think that's why we have to hear from each church. We really have to hear from each church. And, and um, you know, in the end, we, we all have uh, still money left over from the, the year we didn't have a minister. Um, it's in the uh, <laughs> um, annual report when we were doing the budget. And um, there is money in the bank. Um, and I, I'm always, and I'm, I'm talking as a treasurer, I think if you have something that you have passion and commitment behind, you will find a way of getting the funds mm -hmm. to make that happen. Would you say, Wayne, that's what happened with Knox? Four or five Very people so. got very passionate, went out to the community, and look what happened. And, and, I, I, I'm not, and I'm going to say, I'm not going to say that it's, it's going to be easy, right. but I think it's the passion and the commitment. If we believe in these spaces, um, you know, I keep looking at Stuart and I'm going, I, I love this church. I've gone to it since I was a small girl in the, in the summers. My, my dad is buried behind here. I don't want to see it being torn down and used as somebody's mm. cottage, you know. Mm. I would rather mm. be, have it part of the community and, and you know, and, and be useful to people other than the you know 12 to 14 people that gather here on Sunday. So I, I think if we could find a passion behind it to keep it going and, and the desire to actually fix it up and make it look beautiful again um, has to come from someplace. And I think Knox found that with the revitalization and I think we could find that with, with doing things like that. Well, who had the vision for uh, these stained glass windows? <laughs> Somebody had a passion, somebody had a vision, it happened, and here we sit benefiting from it uh, and taking it for granted. Anyway. Anyways, are we ready for the question? Is there any other comments? Yes. Uh, just like how will we know when we're ready to go to the next step and it will well, be after this meeting that you're planning in June to move up to this it, 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 we, will, we will come up with a, like we'll hear from everyone and we will report mm -hmm. back and then it'll be up to each of the churches uh, at that point to decide what direction they want to take. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of hoping we go, all churches go in one direction, mm -hmm. but if that's not the case, there's ways of doing it. Um, I think, to be honest, if we can get internet by September in each of the, the churches, that would be a huge, a yeah, that would, that would to me to be what I would love to get. Um, you know, the smart TVs, I mean, um, Ian, Ian was saying they're about $2,000, but I think, you know, that go to Walmart and see if we can get a good deal. You know? <laughs> Although I hate Walmart, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, we, there's, there's, we could figure this out. We could figure this out. Is what I'm saying. And, and I think the problem is I, I can't answer a lot of the questions because I I need to hear from everybody before we move forward. Um, and um, you know, I hate to ask people to put a lot of time and effort to coming up with a plan and and not have the backup of each of the churches in the plan. And perhaps we need to have conversations among ourselves about what it is to make decisions that are going to be for the future for our children and for our, you know, the ongoingness of, of our life, not just for ourselves. So we're old. Most of us are, you know, in that part of life. We're looking at, uh, but are we going to be caretakers of the future? Opening up doors and, you know, all, all of that, th all those things that, that responsible elders do for, um, for their community. So, anyways, any, any other comments? Um, you know, thank you. I just think what we have to do is we really have to seriously think, if we don't do this, we're all going to, it's going to die. Absolutely. Our churches are going to die. Absolutely. We really have to take what we can live and do this, because if we don't do this, our churches are going to die. And we've certainly seen that as not. Because we went out of El Leon, took our chances. It's not, we hope not dying, but it looks like it's moving forward. It's just the same as us starting the soup kitchen. And Joanne and I started it. You know, we were just kind of bored in the <laughs> COVID day. And uh, it's just literally mushroom. And it's a story to be told. Yeah. So I think, you know, I know it's, it's difficult because it's financial and you don't really have the money, but I think if we don't do it, we're just, our churches are going to not make it. And, and I have no problem going to the United Church and asking for money here. No, neither do I. And, and I'm thinking <laughs> of this too, I think we need to see your way that our community, it is exactly the pie. I went to an independent and I said, would you possibly give us the fruit at cost for us? We're not but, there yet, but I agree but with I, you. But it's yeah. the same with doing buying um, yeah. our monitors. Yeah. If you go to them, go to different businesses, who knows? Walmart, they may have things that they want to give out to communities. They could come if back not, and say, yes, we'll give it a cost. Or, like my good lucky, we'll just give it to people. And this is our... And, and, and I, I agree with you, Doris. I, at this yeah. point, we don't have we don't have a, a list of things we need to actually go out and do that. Right. But I, I'm more than willing to do that. Um, you know, I, I have no problem asking for things. I mean, we got a good example is for the cookie things. We got our space. We didn't have to pay for our space from. Yeah. You just ask for them and say, it's yeah. a "Church, sure, you can have it." You know, so, and it just it, so, so you ask people. I guess a question would be: Is there any strong objection to this yeah. to going forward in this way? And, and I will tell you, the two people that have put uh, effort into it so far, and I think there's somebody from Knox too, and I, I don't know who it is, um, uh, are out cooking burgers, and they're probably done. So, um, yeah. and <laughs> so I'll second the motion. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> and there you go. And, and we have Michael. Okay. Finally, we have two thanks, motions for thanks. I would like to make a motion to thank Meg. Who actually put the um, the meeting to, uh, sorry the, uh, the report vote. together? We didn't vote yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just assume it's a yay vote. All in favor? You could tell I don't do this for a living. <laughs> Opposed? There we go. Okay, I got two final motions. One of them is a thank you motion for Meg for putting the annual uh, report together. It's not her job, um, and uh, it would have. One of us would have had to volunteer to do it, and Meg did, so I'm going to thank her because it's, she has to ask for all the reports. She then has to put them together nicely, and I think it's a nice report. So, all in favor? <laughs> and the second one I want to say is the two fellows out there cooking burgers. Um, first of all, they're the tech guys. Um, ask them questions about the technology. They'll probably thank you. So, um, they're out there cooking burgers, and I just want to thank them for taking um, an hour and a half out of their day to cook us our lunch. And I know other people have brought things and I, I could say thank you for that too. 
Um, but I just wanted to put a motion in here to say thank you. All in favor? Mm -hmm. There we go. I think that's motion adjourned. Uh, for that part, but we have a uh, we have to continue with our yep, worship no, service. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm very aware that I don't vote and I don't belong to this church. So if I'm talking too much, tell me. But I think it is my role to counsel you and guide you and tell you what I think. So I'm doing that. Um, it's time to call for your offering. Is that something to have people brought offering today that we need to collect? Or should I just ask for the offering to be placed on the plate and we skip that part and move on to uh, the very creative prayers of the people that I had planned? Do you want to pass it around? Pass it around? We'll do the offering. Okay, let's do the offering. I call for your offering, folks. And let's have the music for the for the uh, the uh, dedication of the offering. Anyone else? <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. So, um, for the prayers of the people, I wanted to do uh, uh, there, there, one of my, when I first came to this church, I uh, poked my head in. The meeting was happening in this room, and I poked my head in, and I looked at the space, and I went, oh. Because immediately I wanted to clear the space, empty, get, get, get the, the, the room open, and it could be used for lots of things other than straight rows of benches. Um, I'm not going to push this. What I was going to do is a little uh, circle dance um, uh, to pray for healing, uh, healing of the earth. You know, the way I, I learned this uh, from, um, this is from uh, the indigenous part of our life. Um, so I'm just going to do the healing part of it. Um, uh, you know that haya, 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 haya. It's, it's a, a, a putting forth of energy is, is what those, those words are. And in this particular a uh, little circle dance. We circle around one way and we circle around the other way and then to a central spot we all go a as a circle into the center and we go hiya 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 now back up hiya hiya can you all join me with saying that hiya Hi yes. Hi okay. Hi Our churches need healing. We need healing. Our entire culture needs healing. So let's just do that again. Hi ya. 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 Thank you. And now that reading from our Bible talked about the very early Christians gathering together and um, eating together, uh, paying attention to the apostles' teachings, and saying the prayers. What were those prayers? <laughs> like, what prayers were they? Well, they would have been saying Jewish prayers. And then my guess is, and a lot of New Testament scholars agree with me, they would have been saying the Lord's Prayer. The prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, and they most probably prayed it together uh, many, many times in different ways in different communities, and the church, the, the, these Christians 
uh, or they weren't even called Christians. Uh, they were faithful Jews and they were uh, 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 followers of the Messiah. They believed the Messiah had come. So they would have said the prayer that Jesus taught them. So I'm going to invite you all to say with me the words that are translated in English, but we all learned them by heart. They're not the words that Jesus taught, but we learned them by heart, and I want us to say words that we know by heart. So there are lots of other words. I know the Aramaic Lord's Prayer. I could recite that. <clears throat> and someday maybe you'll learn it. But right now, let's just <clears throat> pray together using the words and ideas that Jesus taught his disciples to pray with and join ourselves to the early church that we heard about in our reading. And we are the perpetuators of that community, that, that group of people that went out on a limb like Knox United. It can, it can be very, very powerful. So let's take a moment to take a deep breath and then say together the words that Jesus taught us. Together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. And we're going to sing a hymn now together. Um, will you come and follow me? Thank you. Um, and this is a hymn that uh, every, every person that it becomes ordained in the United Church of Canada, the way they, uh, the custom is that they choose a hymn that they like and a verse that, that, that really means something to them. And at the time when it comes for them to move up to the front and have hands laid on them and the Holy Spirit to come upon them uh, through, the, um, through the authority of the church. There is a verse that is sung um, from a hymn, and this is the hymn that I chose. And the special verse for me was number four. If you love the you you hide, if I but call your name, will you quell the fear inside and never be the same? I, I decided, okay, so what if they think I'm crazy? <laughs> I have this call, so just go for it. So, will you come and follow me? And uh, Cynthia's going to lead us.
everyone. And as you go, may the love of the Holy One enfold you. May the labor of the birthing one deliver you. And may the wisdom of the wild one sustain you. And may the peace of the all in one sustain you, bless you, and guide you in every way. Amen. Let us go and eat together. Okay.